Let me ask you something. Have you ever seen the movie uh, Pump Up the Volume? No. Ah, I take pity on you. It was the true hidden gem of 1990. Stephen Holden of the New York Times said that Christian Slater's performance was one of surprising sweetness and depth. He shifts convincingly from a wired, almost fanatical exaltation of his hard, hairy scenes to a mopey, sad sack diffidence in his scenes as Mark. Peter Travers of The Rolling Stone also believes Slater gave an electrifying performance. However, he was less than impressed by director Alan Moore. He felt that while Moore was undoubtedly trying to build a metaphor around the lethargy of youth, he lacked the proper ambition and charisma to make a real statement. Oh yeah? I personally believe that Travers hit it right on the nose. The multidimensional characters in the film really drove the narrative forward, but clearly there's work to be done behind the camera. Perhaps it was Moore's 10-year break in between films. Maybe. The thing that really concerns me, though, is that one of the major conflicts of the film is a result of a student killing himself, all while Hard Harry tries to talk him off the ledge. Now, wouldn't you agree that the student was maybe just trying to take the easy way out? What do you mean? Well, the tougher, more absolute solution would have been to kill off the people that were causing a psychological torment, wouldn't you say? I suppose so. Good, good. Then you'll empathize with my actions. Huh?